Hey, nice clipping through the wall, jackass. I'm going to kill him. Yes, I can. Can he, he, he kill me? Fuck, I'm getting pushed here. Oh, fuck it. It's pretty armoured. I don't think I can do it. Return to Caesar. I know that went. Whatever. Uh, screw it. I know it's really actually. I don't know why I said that, but uh, I didn't realise it was unlocked. I just walked past it like a dick. Oops, nothing here. No, no, no. Okay, terminal hard. I can do this at least. <clears throat> uh, increasing. Not an ing word. Flourishes. No, no, I can't be that. Can't be that. Definition. No, don't think it's be that. Admiration. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Cancel security alert. Okay, whatever. And we'll hack. Oh shit, fuck. No. I don't know what that means, but fuck it. Uh, let's see what we can do with this one. Inserted. No. Released. Hmm. Revert. No, it can't be, re can't be reverted. That would be free. Attached. Uh. No. Oh god. Uh. Find some duds fast. Or allowances, maybe. I don't think there's any more duds <laughs> or allowances. God damn it, Ash. Uh, fuck it. Let's do it again. Let's try again. Oh god, why is, why is the second time so slow? I don't understand. Cracking. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> oh god damn. I love it when you when, when it's the first one you pick. So satisfying. Uh, I should have done that first and then just killed the uh what what would happen is uh, you'd you'd, you'd uh, turn them off, and then you could still kill them and get the experience. So it's all good. Anyway, can I talk to House? Your work here is done. Return to the Lucky Thirty Eight so we can discuss next steps. You have a very bright future ahead of you. Thanks to your actions today, so does the rest of mankind. Cool. Uh, let's get out of here. Before I get any more radiated. Fuck no. Oh Jesus Christ! Fucking barrels jumping out my face. Okay, let's get, take some rad away just to get rid of this fucking cancer. There we go. It's good stuff. See, he's gonna take my stuff away, but can't. True to can I go through the door. You've carried out Kaisar's will, but I must confess. Goodbye. Wale. <laughs> You've carried out oh. Kaisar's. Ah, <sighs> keep all that weapons. Here you go. You're free. God fucking damn it. I can't believe it. I just want to. I just want to. Why can't I carry my own guns around around this place? I don't mean no harm, not yet anywhere. Come on, can you do push-ups with me standing on top of his head? Quite beautiful. What a what a stupid place to pick. What what a place to pick to do push-ups. Just silly. Ooh. Hidden veteran helmet. That doesn't sell for anything. Oh, coins. Purified water. These do sell for something, but they weigh quite a bit. Fuck it, it's not worth it. Uh, let's take all their coins. Can do make them. Oh, service rifle. Wait, I wonder if I can repair the uh, 
assault carbine with the service for the service with a service rifle. So I want to know because it's best. They look, but because they look like oh, I can't. I, I don't know, do I? Oh damn it! Well, I've got a weapon at least. Oh shit! Add some ammo to go with it. Oh, a lot of pickings. Take it. There we go. Give us that experience, man. It's good stuff. Yep, yeah, just stole. You know, there's a lot of tents here. I could pick all of them or loot all of them, but I'd rather not waste my time with that. Need to get on with the story. The sooner I get on with the story, the sooner I can find some fighting. Some actual fighting, not some like quick save, kill somebody, quick load out of it. Shenanigans. I mean, actual fighting that can that will do me some good. The camps are getting crowded. Yeah, that's what happens when you keep pillaging like fucking villages like every day. Wait, do I even have my stim packs? What the fuck? They even took my stim packs? What the hell? What kind of fucking place does it say? It's like, you can't have your weapons. Or your stim packs. Why have I stuck my toe? What the fuck am I supposed to do then? Well, guess we could. guess we're going to have to hard save it again just to be safe. Our way. True to Kaisar. Yep, true to Kaisar. Hey, mongrel. Your eyes are red and you look angry as fuck. Or orange, rather. I felt the ground shake a while ago. I'll take that as a sign you've got the job done. Let's press on, shall we? Yay, 500 experience. Come on, level, level, before, level, level, level. God damn I it. want Mr. House out of the picture. You have an interest in his death, too. If he knows that you destroyed his gadgets beneath the fort, he will strike back. You know where to find him. How he dies, I leave up to you. I have some questions to ask. What did you want to know? Uh, I have bodyguard special in any way. My Praetorians embody the martial ideals of my legion. Each one of them has done enough conquering and killing to deserve the rank of Kentorian. <laughs> Instead, I invited them to join my guard. So the invitee chooses whichever current guard he thinks is weakest and challenges him. The fight is to the death. It keeps them from getting complacent. How long has Lucius been the head of the Praetorians? Lucius has been the head of Lucius, my guard rather. for five years now. He was a subordinate guard for eight before that. No invitee has dared to challenge him yet. Maybe it's an issue of respect. He is getting on in years. Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Tell me about Vulpes in Culta. Vulpes is the best of my frumentari. A remarkable individual from an unremarkable tribe south of the Utah. He was brought into the Legion as a boy. Survived training. Fought well enough as a Legionary to be promoted to the rank of Decanus. Then in battle against an unimportant tribe. He broke ranks and led his contubernium through a hole in their defenses to capture its chieftain. Well, his Kentorian wanted him crucified for disobedience. So I made him a frumentari. What does Frumentari do? Whatever I require. Infiltration, assassination, dramatic atrocities to break the spirit of the enemy, etc. They're mentally flexible. They operate behind enemy lines for extended periods, imitating the enemy's customs without becoming... sullied. In all these things, Wolfus is a master. Let's talk about something else. What? Uh... I heard rumors of your legit legit Ladius. What's what's his story? Linnaeus is the greatest of my battlefield commanders. Some might call him a great man, but I'm not sure he qualifies. Once, he was the greatest warrior of the Hydebarks, a tribe of the Arizona. Maniacal in battle. Sometimes he'd ambush Legion patrols by himself. When after several months we found and surrounded the Hydebark's camp, their chieftain raised a banner of surrender. The warrior who was not yet Linnaeus went insane with rage. He struck down his chieftain and attacked his own tribe. What happened when Linnaeus attacked his own tribe? He killed 15 before they brought him down. He didn't die, 
obviously. I had him tended to. He was maimed, most of his face torn off. It was days before he regained consciousness. When he did, I went to his bedside and showed him the helmet I'd had forged to cover his face. I said he could have it if he'd fight for me. He accepted, on condition that he be allowed to kill the surviving males of his tribe. I said, make it the adult males, and you have a deal. He sounds more like a savage than a general. The Neus is savage. Savagely loyal, too, but only to me. He has no love for my legion. But this has its uses. He has no attachment to his men, no compunction about battlefield losses. All he cares about is destroying the enemy. When another Legatus or a Kenturian fails to achieve results, I send Lanius to make things right. His first step is to beat the failed commander to death in front of his assembled troops. Then he orders the ritual of Decimatio. What is Decimatio? It means decimation. But in ancient Rome, the word had a very specific meaning. A punishment for cowardice. The legionaries are lined up in ranks. Every tenth man steps forward and is beaten to death by his brothers. It instills a certain robust obedience. Yannis will lead the assault on Hoover down? Yes. This time my legionaries will be more frightened of the commander behind them than the enemy before them. <laughs> there will be no failure this time, no retreat, no years of gathering slaves and resources for another assault. With Linnaeus to drive the legion forward, the dam will be taken. It will be our bridgehead across the Colorado. Why did the legion lose the first battle? It's not going to happen again, that's all I have to say about it. Oh, touchy subject. I've heard the commander of the first battle called the... F called the Burned Man. And I've heard it's a bad idea to tempt the wrath of Kaisar. Change the subject. Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Uh, what role? What role will regional powers play in the conflict? I've analyzed the region's tribe to determine how they might be useful. I may tell you more at a later time, if it suits me. Talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Um, <laughs> I might. I might. I, I. I. I have to tempt his wrath. Why seasons lead just so strange? I used Imperial Rome as the model for my legion precisely because it was so foreign, so alien. I'd seen what had become of the NCR's attempts to emulate the culture of pre-war America. The infighting, the corruption. Rome was a highly militarized autocracy that effectively integrated the foreign cultures it conquered. It dedicated its citizens to something higher than themselves. To the idea of Rome itself. In Rome, I found a template for a society equal to the challenges of the post-apocalyptic world. A society that could and would survive. A society that could prevent mankind from fracturing and destroying itself in this new world. By establishing a new Pax Romana. What does Pax Romana mean? It means a nationalist, imperialist, totalitarian, <coughs> homogenous culture that obliterates the identity of every group it conquers. Long-term stability at all costs. The individual has no value beyond his utility to the state, whether as an instrument of war or production. So you'll destroy the NCR because you hit its inf inefficiencies? No. I'll destroy it because it's inevitable that it be destroyed. It's Hegelian dialectics, not personal animosity. What are those? How do I put this basically enough? It's a philosophical theory, the kind you might encounter if you took time to read some books. The fundamental premise is to envision history as a sequence of dialectical conflicts. Each dialectic begins with a proposition, a thesis, which inherently contains or creates its opposite, an antithesis. Thesis and antithesis. The conflict is inevitable. But the resolution of the conflict yields something new, a synthesis, eliminating the flaws in each, leaving behind common elements and ideas. So what's di what? So what's dialect about you and 
Yeah. The bombs wiped the slate clean. Human civilization descended to a level of ignorance that effectively set our cultural progress back to zero. The NCR has all the problems of the ancient Roman Republic. Extreme bureaucracy, corruption, extensive senatorial infighting. Just as with the ancient Republic, it is natural that a military force should conquer and transform the NCR into a military dictatorship. Thesis and antithesis. The Colorado River is my Rubicon. The NCR Council will be eradicated. But the new synthesis will change the Legion as well. From a basically nomadic army to a standing military force that protects its citizens and the power of its dictator. That's no questions for now. What else then? Um What is the machine in your tent? It's called an auto dock. As the name suggests, it's an automated physician, more or less. He can treat broken bones, cuts, punctures, scrapes. Sometimes I bestow its use upon someone I favor. Makes for a powerful gift in a culture that forbids painkillers and is largely ignorant of medical science. I'll eliminate Mr. House for you. Good. Don't know what kind of security he has inside the Lucky 38, but if you can find a way of catching him off guard, do so. Good show, good show. I can probably... So I've got two people I need to kill Mr. House for. That means double the experience just for killing this guy. I don't know. I Some of the it sounds tempting to do straight away, but I will keep helping both of them and I'll stab Mr. House in the back. That sounds like the plan. In fact, that is the plan. That's not right. Don't know why I went to the dog. Don't know why I clicked Stimpax, but come on. Veronica. Aw, just... <laughs> Very funny. Get out of here. Cunt. Trying to be a smart ass. Yeah, where do I go? Go this way. Oh, this is where I need to go. It doesn't even look like a door, so I don't know how you could tell. The camps are getting crowded. How interesting. Let's go. God, these people have nothing interesting to say. Okay, let's make our way down. The hills. What's over here? Oh no, these are, these are crucifix. There's a guy over here. I think some. I think they might have forgotten to take this one down though. I mean, I'm pretty sure Jesus was on the cross for three days. I don't think. I think putting it on, putting um, someone on the cross for the for several months. And in fact, that Jesus, I. Like the skin that's probably rotted off falls to the ground and rotted on the ground until no and became nothing or unless dogs have ate at it. But like, I don't understand. It's got so how can you hang leave someone up there until they become a skeleton or a stick? That just seems really absurd. Look at you, dude. You silly walk. Excuse me. Yeah. Look at you doing your silly walk. And more voodoo shit. Cool. That was over here. Did not spot that earlier. It's a trench, so I assume it's for wartime, but it might be more on an aqueduct. Hmm. It's probably more on an aqueduct. I, I, I don't know. I can't be asked walking there. It looks like it's going to go around the entire camp, and I don't think walking all the way around it for no reason would be a uh, would make a good good thing to show on video. So fuck it. Uh, hey, wait. Have you got a kit? All right. I thought it was a I thought I had a cane. Howdy again. Howdy. Uh, I need something repaired. Let's see, you're 30. You're shit. Have you ever met Caesar? I haven't had the pleasure. I have crossed paths with Legate Lanius, his second in command, however. It was unpleasant. <laughs> Tell me about the gear. Oh, I can't fuck it. I never give a shit about this guy. Hey, little woman. Tower on the Excuse trip. me. The one you can see from Excuse miles. me, you're not going anywhere. Wait, right this is a door, no and I can't go through the door. Fuck it, let's go this way. Gotta keep on trucking, exploring and stuff. Need to find some decent loot now. Awe. True to Kaisar. Awe, are you ready? Yes, I am. I'm ready to return to Cottonwood Cove. Very well. And we load. Lucky 38, take a 